it's Rose Greek from Greeks Red Elementary. Today we're going to be using crayons for color blending and layering. Our subject matter is going to be a simple sunset. This is going to be more of a directed drawing, so we will work together to understand how you can layer the colors and blend and use crayons in a way you might not have used before, depending on the pressure and the direction of the coloring. I can't wait to show you. So as usual, we're going to start with a pencil. We're going to draw a light till we get it right. I'm going to start by sketching out my simple horizon line and then a semicircle for my setting sun. It'll sit right on the horizon line. And then um, in the example I showed you, we have different, I had different rocks kind of sticking out of the water. And so it's a rock is a natural form. We're going to use organic shapes. And to make it look like they're really sticking out of the water, I think it's important to remember that the bottom will be kind of flat and the top will be that wavy organic shape. And I would place them where you have different sizes on each side of your page. They don't have to be exactly like mine, but maybe the location could be similar. Moving kind of down the page, just like that. Once you kind of have your rock sticking out of the water, I'm going to use my black crayon to um, go up back and outline those rocks so I can see them clearly. I'm having that problem where I don't have a point on it like I would like, so the easiest thing to do with crayons is always peel your paper back. I'm going to alter the shape of this one because I want it a little flatter than I originally drew it. And since I'm going to color it in, I can change it up as I go as long as my changed outline is on the outside of my pencil line. So once I get them all kind of outlined the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and color in my rock forms lightly. And then I'll go back and add some dark spots, a little more shadows once we get further into the drawing. I'm just trying to let, kind of get my form in here setting up my composition. Remember, composition is how you set things up on the page, the layout of your drawing. Okay, if you are happy with the layout of your rocks, and I am, and I've got the composition, I'm going to go ahead next, and I'm going to use my orange crayon and I'm going to go on the outside of my sun just like that and then I'm going to switch to my yellow crayon and I'm going to peel my yellow crayon just like I did my black because I don't have the point on there like I like. I'm going to lightly color my sun. You'll notice that as I'm coloring, I'm coloring in one direction and I am coloring with horizontal strokes to have this kind of nice flowing blending effect where everything has the same motion. I know that if the sun is shining down on the water, the reflection will come in between my rocks. So you can see that I'm kind of varying how it moves in and out of the rocks. I also know as it's setting that I'll see some of that yellow in the sky. So I'm going to add some yellow to my sky just like this. Next, I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to add a little orange to my sun, just a nice light layer. And I'm not pressing down hard yet with my crayons because when I do light layers like this, it allows me to slowly bend, blend the colors. And you may find that you need to put another piece of paper underneath 
as you're coloring so you can go right off your edge without getting it all over the table. And that's what I just decided to do. So I am going to blend all of my nice orange in here, a nice light layer. Now when I get down close to the sun, I'm going to go a little bit darker right up to that line that I outlined my sun with. And I'm getting it darker by simply putting a second layer of color, but also by applying pressure to my crayon. And I'm going to add a little bit of that orange into there. Now I'm going to put a nice layer of orange. Now I'm going to put a nice layer of orange on my water too, creating the sense that these rocks, just the top of them, are floating out of the water. And the same thing as before, I want to go right off my page, so I put a piece of paper underneath. And I am coloring right up to those rock forms with my orange. And for now, I'm not really applying that much pressure. What do you need, honey? Something. Oh my goodness. Well, you got these three, but these down here got deleted. Like a dolphin is no, not a mammal. I, I got it all. A dolphin is a mammal. A dolphin is a mammal. Really? Yeah. Yes. Why well, can all you like a dog? Tail. You just didn't want to. Huh. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I need my hand. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do. Which. We're well, doing birds. Yeah, I want to do a duck and an eagle. There you go. Can I also have to add facts about me? Mom, can I show I you what I learned? In Just one second. I'm trying. I can only help one person at a time. Okay, so we're doing insects next. The spider is not an insect, but a cricket is an insect, and a wasp is an insect. And okay. All right, move those down, all right. And then we decided that for this, we were going to do... Yeah, but it's hard to... Okay, where, where are you? How do I get the emojis up? I don't know how to do this. Which do okay. you need? Okay, do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Go to the bathroom and come back, buddy. Okay, what do you what do you want to show me? Avatar Avatar is the name of the game. And if you mess up the game, you gotta change your name. So if let's say I accidentally you have to get quicker, Avatar Avatar is the name of the game. And if you mess up the game, you gotta change your name. And let's is say that I for went, your music activity? Yeah. And let's say I went like this, Avocado Avocado. I would have to change it to like Banana. Yeah. Banana banana is the name of the game. And if you mess up the game, you gotta change your name, see? Okay, cute. I like it. You just it. use a bunch of fruits and veggies and stuff. Nice. Alright, so you need to write that down for me. Okay. And, um... It's called avocado game. <laughs> well, I figured it out now. She calls him avocado. Okay. Okay, and what'd you say? And then go brush your teeth, because you haven't done that. And get dressed. And get dressed.
Okay. Okay, he has work to do and I'm trying to film. Okay, it's all said in here. You just need to go write it. Write down your three facts on each. No, but you can. You can't be out here. I'm I'm doing I'm taping. Okay. Okay, so as you're coloring with your orange, you're going to go light at first, kind of just getting the color all on there, blending it right up to those rock forms and in between the rock forms so it looks like they're floating on the water. Now, once you kind of have everything in place and there's color everywhere, then you can start applying some pressure to your orange so that you can show that it's going to be darker in some places. And again, if you get where you don't have a good point, remember, the best part about crayons is all you have to do is peel them and you're ready to go again. And I peeled my orange and now I'm going to add some darker orange in some places. And even in my sky, I'm going to add a lot, a little bit of dark orange without going too dark. Okay, next, I'm going to use my red. So the cool thing about blending and layering is to understand that red and yellow make orange. Those are all warm colors. So if you think about how colors work together, then it's easy for you to say, oh, if I add a little bit of red, that'll be a nice blending tool in there. It's a little bit of a darker hue than the orange. So it will allow a little bit of dark. Now I'm going to go back in with my yellow and on my sun I'm going to add a lot of pressure and a few places in the sky to get that idea that as the sun is setting that reflection is a bit bold on the water. Next I'm going to use my black. This is going to bring my shadows into effect. I'm going to go right underneath those rock forms with a nice layer of light black and bringing that down into the water some. And you can notice one thing that's kind of interesting is as the black kind of overlaps the orange, you almost get this nice kind of um, greenish brown tone to them. Now I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to add a little pressure to my rocks, still coloring directional. Remember, all of my lines so far have been horizontal lines. I'm just going back and forth. This is going to help me create a sense of movement in the piece. It also just helps the blending work a little bit better. You're not, it doesn't look like a scribble because it's all in the same direction. And you'll notice one of the things I like to do is I like to add darker spots on some part of the rocks and then leave some of them a little bit lighter and it almost looks like a little highlight. Now the final step is I'm going to take my blue and I chose a nice kind of um, dark blue and I'm actually going to layer over top of my water where my orange and my black is and add a little hint of blue so that we can tell that this is the water. Finishing touches by making sure you cannot see all of my pencil lines. And then just using crayons and color blending, we have a lovely sunset. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you finish yours and you like it as much as I like mine. So as you can see, this one doesn't look quite finished. If you continue to add layers and colors, and I even went back and added a little brown to my rock forms, um, the darker you color and the, the more variety of pressure you put on there, it's really going to make it look more realistic and you really get that nice reflection on the water. Have fun layering and I can't wait to see your finished product.